Bougé. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Tim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame, and Rosie and Tim we play our games. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One cloudy day. And then I'll draw the canal with my two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Life jacket on. Well, I want to get on today and get all the way to Dudley, along here. Let's get going. It's really nice and quiet down here. Whilst up on that bridge above me, there are all those noisy cars. We're going underneath all the noisy cars now. Oh, so Fizzgog's gonna steer all round this bendy bit. Steering a boat's a bit like driving a car. There are certain rules. That sign says, all boats keep right. Keep right, keep right. <laughs> no, I want to steer the boat this way. That's silly. And there's a roundabout ahead, just like one on the road, only it's got water all around it. Go around it now. Here we go. Roundabout! <laughs> Here we go round the roundabout. The roundabout. The roundabout. Here we go round the roundabout all day long. Here we go round the roundabout. The roundabout. The roundabout. Here we go round the roundabout all day long. Rosie, why can't you steer it round the other way? No, Fizzgog said you're not allowed to. Mm. In case something comes the other way. Now, my canal book says that round this corner there's a big hill, and I've got to get my boat up that hill. How am I going to do that? Wait and see. You'll see when we come to it. <laughs> a hill? <laughs> Rosie and Jim went up the hill, a climbing up the water. Then they went down to Brummage in town, a riding on the motor. <laughs> hey, Duck, <laughs> keep a look out for this hill. I can't wait to see a hill. Yeah. Come on, Duck. 
Can you see the hill going up ahead of us? It goes up in steps with water in them, and there are gates to hold the water from running away. We can get up there by going through the gates. Is that it? We're not going up there, are we? Well, Fizzcock says we are. You mean everything. You, me, duck, and the boat. Rosie and Jim went up the hill and took the duck up with them. And my bag. And my book. And all the beds. And John's book. And all the food. And the fridge. And the kitchen sink. And, and everything, everything floated up with them. <laughs> Hello, old John. You mind if we come through the lock? Yes. Thank you very much. If you give us a hand, we'd be very grateful. Quack, quack. Quack. The boat goes in the lock. The boat goes in the lock. You can see now that the water's much higher here than it is in the place where the boat is, in the lock. But if I open the tap using this key, then the water will run in and the boat will come up. So let's do it. Here it goes. Oh, quite stiff. Can you see how the water's getting higher on this side and it's lifting the boat up and up? Hello. It's a good way to lift a boat up, isn't it? It is, yes. I can feel it going up now. Yeah. Can you tell me how high each lock lifts the boat? About six metres. Six metres? Yeah. That's a long way, isn't it? Oh, it is. And how many locks are there climbing up this hill? Eight. Eight locks? Yeah. So that means the boat is climbing up about as high as four houses. Oh, yes, definitely. Goodness me. Yeah, yeah. And all with water. Oh, all with water, yeah. Mm, wonderful. There we go. Got the gate open and the boat can go out now. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Thank Hello, you very mate. much. All the best. All Hello. the best to you. Bye bye. Wah, wah, wah. Duck is quacking his quacky song. Time for home. We, we stayed, stayed too long. long. Come on. Wah, wah. Yes, thank you, Duck. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Duck. <laughs> Lock gates, water wizard Jim, and let my boat through. No, you can't come in until you tell me the magic password. <laughs> um, oh, fizzle fuzzle. Um, no, uh, that's not right. Oh, 
quack, quack. Oh, uh, quack, quack, quack. No, that's not right either. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, turn the taps on and let the water in, please. No. <laughs> Not until you tell me another password. Argle Bargle Pudding and Pie's Water Wizard make us rise. <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> Didn't. You're not allowed to have anyone's help. Oh, niggly noggin. Come on, water wizard. Make us rise. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the water comes rising up. The water comes rising up. <laughs> hey, ho, the doobie oh, The water comes rising up. The water comes pouring in. The water comes pouring in. Hey ho, ba doobie oh, the water cup's pouring in. <laughs> now I'm sailing up into the clouds. <laughs> now I've got to the top of the hill, you can see just how far I've come. The long line of locks climbing up the hill, as high as four houses. It's a long way. He's coming. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the good boat rag doll when they saw a huge gate right across the water. What's that, said Rosie? That is the house where the water wizard lives, said Jim. Will he let us in, said Rosie? Yes, said Jim, if we say the magic words. Say them, said Rosie, if you know them. Uh, abracadabra, London Zoo. No, that's not right. But they couldn't remember the magic words, so the water wizard would not let them through. Abracadabra, super glue, open the gates and let us through. And the water wizard made a great gurgle wurgling and a swooshing and a splashing, and he opened his gates and the boat went in. They said another spell. Argle bargle, pudding and pies. Water wizard, make us rise. The water went bubble, bubble, spuggle, sprug, and up went the boat, and up went Jim, and up went everything. Then the water wizard opened his back door and let them out again. We did it, said Rosie. We did it, said Jim. Rosie! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, talking along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.
Rosie. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, tagging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One cloudy day. And then I'll draw the canal my two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So, I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Now, I'll get my life jacket on. Mustn't forget that. Need that for safety. Let's have a look. I'm at Bumblehole Boating Centre today, and I'm having a look at my book to see where to go. I'm going to go all down here and head for Birmingham. Let's get going. Oh, a rainbow. I haven't seen one of those for a long time. What lovely colours. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> We're moving, Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? It's rather narrow here with lots of trees hanging over the water. Jim, where there's going to be lots of trees. Mm, all the way up and over the coloured rainbow to where the trees are. <laughs> oh, Jim, all the trees are coming in the boat. What a place. It's like going through a forest. Leaves, Jim. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. These leaves, Rosie, they're greener than my drawing. <laughs> Can you send me some more, please? Thank you. Oh, trees have leaves, oh, greeny green, the greenest green I've ever seen. <coughs> oh dear, poor old rag doll. The boat's getting a good scratching from these trees. <laughs> <gasps> what, what was that noise? Rosie! It sounded like the gnashing of monsters' teeth, Jim! Oh. 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 Don't say that! Oh, no. Ah! Rosie! Oh, the monster is eating the boat! Scritch, scratch, bumpity bump, the boat tips up and the cups go jump. Splish, splash! Jiggity jog, is it a boat or is it a frog? <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Duck's seen the monster, Jim, and and it's got big wide eyes and a big wide mouth. Oh, Rosie, w what colour is it? Uh, well, it's green and shiny. I'm scared. Oh, how <laughs> big is it? Uh, that big. 
Yeah. How big? That big. Well, well, look, Noggin, it's not going to bite you. <gasps> Rosie, <laughs> that's not a monster. It's a frog. I know. <laughs> hey, Rosie. Yeah? I'm going to paint that frog. Oh. <laughs> Rosie, I haven't got any green paint. Oh, look what a mess I've made of my boat. I've scratched it all the way along. It must have been with driving too close to those trees. I'll have to go and get some paint to patch it up. Now, what colours do I need? I certainly need some uh, yellow, and I need some green, and I'll need some blue. I'd better go and find a shop to buy some paint. Luckily, I'm in the town, so the shops aren't far away. <laughs> Look at all the cars rushing past. Yeah. And all the people. All the people in the street. Rushing by on tap tap feet. Buying this and buying that. Have no time to stop and chat. Good morning. Good morning, you. Oh, I've got trouble. I've got right. a boat on the canal and I've scratched it on some trees. I need some paint. I see I've come to the right place. Yeah, the colour um, Well, I'll need some yellow. Yep. And uh, blue. Better have a brush, I think. Do you sell brushes? Take your brush out oh, there, yes, right? yes. Um, that's a nice size. Yeah, so I'll have one of those brushes. Do you want a brush clear? A, a brush? Yes, I'd better have something to cr clean the brush, hadn't I? Do you want? Yes, it'll get sticky. Well, there's something else on. I can't remember what it is. It's a terrible memory, you know. Anyway. No, it's not a scraper. Oh, I might remember. I can always come back. Rosie, I need some green paint. I know that. I could remember. I'll go and get you some. Never mind. I can come back later on. Oh. Well, Joe usually do that. What was that? It must have been the wind. Aye. I didn't notice any wind when I came in, though. No, no, me. It's very strange, isn't it? Now, what was it that I... Oh, I can't think what it was. Axel? Axel. Anshaw? No, it's not a saw, no. Fountain what? trowel? Fountain Plant... up trowel? No. Anshaw? Rosie! I want the green paint! Yeah, there's the green... No! no. Not the red one. You've got so many things here. What time do you close? Six o'clock. Six o'clock? Oh, well, I can always come back if I remember what it was that uh, I was thinking right, about. Oh, what a memory. I mustn't forget to pay, must I? Where's that door again? Oh, you better have... It needs a... I think do that. It needs a sprig on it, doesn't it? Right, I'll start with the blue. Oh, that looks a lot better. Lovely, nice, clean, fresh colour. <laughs> Green paint. Green paint. <laughs> New green paint from the shop. Shoppy shop. Da -ba -ba. <laughs> Rosie, this new green paint doesn't work. It's all brown. <laughs> Noggin, you've still got red paint on it. You have to wash it out. There we are. Let's see. Blue and the yellow finished. Just a bit. Now, I need to... Oh! Green. I haven't got any green paint. <sighs> now what am I going to do? Should have made a list, shouldn't I, before I went to the shop? Oh, dear. I wonder if I could make some green. Perhaps I can, if I mix the paints. I'll take the yellow first, and I'll pour some in this jar. And 
I'll put some blue in with it. Then I'll mix it up. There we are. Lovely green. It's worked. Magic. And I can paint the green. Lovely. Just the job. Wash the brush, wash the brush, then the colours won't all smudge. Did you know, Jim, you can make green by mixing two other colours together? Really? Yeah. Which colours? Um, uh, can you remember? Rosie, which colours do I mix to get mm. green? Um, well, there's blue. Oh, blue. Yes. Right, and uh, which other colour, Rosie? Um, well, there's blue and... Yes. Um, Blue. Oh, is it is it red? Um, no. Um, I don't... Is it purple? No. Um, oh. um... Is it orange? No. Um... Oh. Mix blue and what? Um, blue and yellow. <laughs> blue and yellow. Yellow. Yeah. <gasps> it's magic. <laughs> Rosie, I've made some green. <laughs> See, blue and yellow. What did I tell you? There we are. That's the rag doll painted, just as good as new. I'll tidy away now and get on with my story. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along in the good boat rag doll when they came to a dark forest. In the middle of the forest sat the Frog King. It's horrid, said Rosie. Where have all the colours gone, said Jim. I've swallowed them, said the Frog King. Noggin, said Rosie, and she looked up. Look, she said. It was a band of colour going right across the sky. It's a rainbow, said Jim. They sailed their boat to the end of the rainbow. There they found three pots of paint, a red pot, a blue pot and a yellow pot. Now we can put the colours back in the world, said Rosie. But there are only three colours here, said Jim. We can make all the others if we mix them, said Rosie. You'll see. And she was right. Rosie and Jim painted their boat. Then they painted the grass, the trees, and the sky. And the Frog King was so cross that he went green all over. But he never swallowed the colours again. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, talking along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye! Rosie! <laughs> <laughs> Rosie!
Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Jim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the canal with two blue pens. Like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Oh, it's a lovely day today. You know, this is my last piece of toast. Get my life jacket on first. Yes, I've done a silly thing. I've completely run out of food on the rag doll. So if I don't find a shop today, there'll be nothing at all for my tea. Let's have a look at the book. Well, the book says that um, along here there are lots of houses and there's a bridge for trains to go over and even lots of trees, but they're not much good for food. So I'll have to just go and have a look. Let's get going. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> We're moving, Rosie. I really have to find a shop. So what I'm going to do is just set off down here and keep a lookout and hope I find one. Jim, he said we were going to find something to eat. Some houses, <laughs> some trees, <laughs> and a railway bridge. <laughs> he didn't say that, did he, Rosie? Did. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go all the way down the canal and find a tree, a house, and, and, and everything to eat. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jim, there's a house. I could eat that. <laughs> I'd gobble it up right from the chimney to the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, I'm going to... I'm going to draw that yummy house. Oh, OK. Yummy roof, yummy house, yummy window, yummy door, yummy, yummy house. Hey, Jim, there's a nice juicy tree. I could eat that all up for my dinner. Munchy, munchy tree. <sighs> yummy. Rosie, what else is there to eat? Oh, well... Oh, there's some yummy clouds. Oh, yeah. And up in the sky, the clouds sail by. A train rushing past with a whoosh and a sigh. We'll, we'll gobble, gobble them up in less than, than a minute. The clouds, the train, and, and everyone in it. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> woo, woo. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> Look at all those shops. 
My goodness, there's a huge amount of new buildings here. And the canal's really high up, up the hillside. That's unusual. Oh, and down there, I can see a big supermarket. I'm about to get all my shopping there. I'll stop and have a look. Check it off. Won't need the life jacket in the shops. Shut the doors up securely. List, money, and off we go. Right, to get a trolley. Jim! They've got loads of food in here. They've got loads of them. They've got sweets and, and biscuits. They've got loads. Jim, we've got to go and get the trolley. Jim, get the trolley. trolley. My goodness, what a huge shop. Oh, well, let's see. Eggs, I wonder where they are. Ah, eggs. Good. Six. Six eggs. That's right. What's next? Jim, first we need a house. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Come on, the house there. With a window and a door and a chimney and a... There. Here is a house. <laughs> A uh, Breddy and Cakey house. Uh, uh, where else? Go over there it goes. Uh, now, uh, what's next? Uh, uh, oh. Beans, beans. Uh, ah, beans. Lovely. Three. One, two, three. Jim, we need some trees, we do. Jim? Jim? Boo! Oh! oh. oh Jim? <laughs> it's not very nice. One broccoli tree. Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> A broccoli tree. Monkey, monkey, broccoli, <laughs> broccoli, 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 <laughs> monkey, monkey. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Ah, milk. Good. A little one. And a big one. What's next, Rosie? Uh, we need some clouds, Jim. Oh, yeah, uh, clouds. clouds. Um, oh. Some, um, clouds. Cloudy, 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 cloud. Floating <coughs> in the sky. What is it, Jim? It's a creepy cloud, Rosie. <laughs> Here, catch. Whee! <laughs> Thank you for the cloud, Clever Noggin. Come on, let's go. What's next, Rosie? Um... Oh, I mustn't forget the carrots. One packet. Right? Yeah. That's right. I think that's everything. Good. I'll pay for it now. Uh, Jim, what are you doing? We need a... Uh, we need a train and everyone in it. Come <laughs> on! <laughs> Driver! <laughs> oh, Jimmy <laughs> Doggin, you Woo! clever thing! <laughs> All aboard! Tickety bomb, tickety bomb, tickety bomb, tickety bomb, tickety bomb, tickety bomb, tickety bomb. Orange train, Rosie! Uh, yeah! Bye <laughs> bye. Hello. Hello. Is it there today? It is, yes, thank you. Where's Fiskog? Don't know. Oh, Jim, quick, quick! Oh, 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 which way? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Which way is out? Oh, Jim, hurry up! We're going to miss him! I don't know which oh. way to go! Oh, Jim, run! Hey! Oh! Look, stupid! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no! We're going to crash! Jim! I wonder what that noise is. Would you look after my stuff while I go and look? Quick, Rosie! Quick, quick! Get out of here! Oh, We've been naughty, Jim! Oh, naughty, naughty, quick! Oh, oh quick! Please go! What was that? Run, Jim, run! As fast as you can! Oh, there's this box trolley. We can put all our food in his trolley. Come on. Hey, look, here's the here's the tree in there. And uh, oh, hang on. Oh, here's the house. Oh, there. And um, oh, hey, Jim, here's the clouds. Woo! <laughs> and uh, here's the train. Woo! Quick, Jim! Quick, let's go! <laughs> Sorry about that.
that. So, did you find out what it was? Well, no, somebody knocked a lot of um, cornflakes packets over and crashed down. Oh, some children probably. Oh, dear, I don't know. Anyway, um... Continue with your shopping. Um... I've never seen that before. What's that? A house? I don't remember getting... No? I don't remember this, either. An orange train? Oh. Oh. It looks like a train. Strange. Bye, Fish Dog! Thank you, Dawes! Yeah, thank you, Dawes! Thank you! Some strange things in my shopping. They are. There's a monkey going up a tree. Hey, he's found, he's found a, he's found a, a tree. Oh, yeah, and he's found a orange train. <laughs> With all the jelly babies on it. <laughs> oh, very strange. Yes, strange indeed. I must have been dreaming. Carrots, yes, carrots are all right. <laughs> and milk. Two, yes, and six eggs. Remember all that. <laughs> My goodness, I've got a good load of shopping. I've got more than I meant to get, really. And look at these great windows. They're like huge mirrors. Better get back to the boat now. Oh, I'd love to get back to the boat. ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the good boat rag doll. I'm so hungry, said Rosie. I could eat a house. And no sooner had she said it than there by the water was a house made of bread with cake windows and biscuit doors and chimneys. They ate it nearly all up. But they were still hungry. I could eat a tree, said Rosie. And there were some broccoli trees. and they gobbled them up. They were still hungry, so they ate some clouds for pudding. They'd eaten so much that they were too fat to walk, so they caught a train that was passing. They got off the train at the supermarket, but they were too full to do any shopping. So Duck brought them home in a shopping trolley. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tucking along on the old back I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look. 
throws his bag. Jim's drawing book, the world drifts by, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim, we play our games. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the canal with two blue pens. Like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely day, isn't it? Now I've got my life jacket on, and here's my book. I'm about here this morning. And I'm going to go around this corner and all the way up here. And it's shown as a dotted line, so that means it's underground in a long, dark tunnel where it'll be as black as night. Let's get going. Coming to a long dark tunnel. It'll be pitch dark in there like, like night time. Hey Jim, we're going to where it's as black as night. We're gonna go all, all the way down the canal, all the way to where it's night. Yeah. Rosie, I'm a bit frightened of the dark. Oh, there's no need to be knocking. You can see some interesting shadows as you go along the canal. There's one travelling along the boat just now. Of course, what makes them is when something gets in the way of the sunshine. But the sun's got to be shining. That's a bridge that's doing that one. My hand can make a shadow as well. Rabbit. He's a dog. Can you see his ears? That's good, isn't it? I'm going to do a cat now, look. Meow, 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 because he does. Cats don't like water. Rosie, it's getting darker. It's nothing to worry about, Noggin. It's just the dark shadow of a big tower. It's, it's blocking out the sun. My book says it's a called Cobb's Engine House. I wonder what sort of engine Mr Cobb had in his house once. This is where the canal goes under the hill. It looks like a rabbit hole to me. It's going to be really dark in there. There'll be no sunlight at all. Rosie, yeah? when's it night time? Um, well, when the sun goes down and you can't see it anymore, well, that's night time. Nothing to be scared of. <laughs> no, nice time to go to sleep. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and when the sun comes back up, well, that's, that's tomorrow, tomorrow morning. morning. <laughs> yes. Well, Rosie! Jim! <laughs> it's night time! 
It's completely dark under here, because we're deep underground. So it's darker than even nighttime, because there's no, no stars, no moon, nothing. Quack, quack, quack. Rosie, what? there's no moon or any stars. That's because the dragon of the hill has swallowed the moon, and he swallowed the stars as well, Jim. Rosie, stop all your scary stories. You're frightening me. <laughs> well, as being dark, it's got very strange sounds in here, very echoey. If I call out, I'll hear my voice echoing, I expect. Hello? Hello? Echo? Echo? Hey, Jim, that's the dragon of the hill shouting back. <laughs> Hello? I wonder what it would be like if I turned the lights off on my boat. I'll just turn them off for a moment to see. Oh, Jim! It, it's all gone dark and I'm scared. <laughs> There's nothing to be scared of. You said so yourself. Now look what you've done with your scary stories. <laughs> dark, are you still there in the dark? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It really is black. I don't like this. I'm going to have my lights on again now. Oh! Oh! Whoa. It's not quite so dark now. Maybe uh, morning's uh, coming. Yeah. That's better. And if I look right along, long, long way along the tunnel, I can see the daylight shining outside. That's nice. Hey, Jim! Can you see a bright little light up there, look? Yeah. Hey, but maybe it's a dragon's eye. No, that's the sunshine coming back. Look. Oh, <laughs> Rosie. Yeah. Um, is that is that tomorrow morning, then? No, silly. It's still today. The sun's been shining all the time. We've just been under the hill in a dark tunnel. <laughs> if I look upwards. I can see shafts going up to the air outside there to let air in, to let water in as well, like the one I'm coming to now. And I'm going to get a splash in the face. Oh, lovely. And now I can see the end of the tunnel way ahead of me and the sun shining and the day out there waiting for me. Rosie, that, that light at the end of the tunnel is getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, super gay light again. Come on, light! Yeah, come on, light. I'll be glad when we get there. Oh, so will I, Jim. Goodness, that was exciting. But it's lovely to be out in the daylight again. I think I'll stop and stretch my legs. Well, I think I'll go for a get this tied up, and then I'll go for a walk up the hill. I'll tell you what. It's harder work going over it than it was going through it in the tunnel. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jim! What? Now we're walking over the hill. We've just been under on the boat down there. <sighs> yeah, the water goes right under our feet in the tunnel. Uh, yeah. Bit into the top, Rosie. Oh. We'll get a good view from up there. Oh, oh. oh Jim, <gasps> look! There's a rabbit! Rosie! Oh, she lives in a tunnel, Rosie. <laughs> what a 
noggin living in a tunnel. Yeah, deep, deep, deep underground. I wouldn't like living in there. No. I expect she likes it, though. Yeah, she's she's safe in there. She only comes out for her dinner, and she's safe because the foxes can't get her. Rosie? Yeah? What about the dragon of the hill in there? Is she safe from him? I only made him up, Noggin. Did you? Yeah. You're a noggin. <laughs> Beat you to the top of the hill. Come on, then. One, two, three. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Lots of things. Rosie, yeah. I've just found something for your collecting bag. Oh, wow. An egg box. Hey, Jim, we could make a dragon of the hill with the oh, yeah. egg box. Oh, shadows, Rosie. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How oh, I wonder what you yeah. are. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Double you up. Ha ha ha. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little moon. Double, double, all dark soon. <laughs> oh, it's really dark now, Rosie. The moon's out, and, and, and Fizzgog's gone for a long, long walk, and I'm getting really sleepy. <laughs> so am I, Jim. Has <laughs> oh, Fizzgog coming back now? Oh, come on. It's a lovely evening, and I've been for a really long walk, right over the hill. So I've been under the hill in the boat and over the hill on my feet. Oh, he's coming. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. Now I'm going to write the story about Rosie and Jim in my book and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were travelling on the good boat rag doll when they came to a big black hole in the side of the hill. We're not going in there, said Rosie. But they were. The boat didn't stop. It went chugging straight on into the darkness. Rosie and Jim were afraid. Oh, said Rosie. What if we meet the dragon under the hill? Oh, uh, said Jim. Oh. They turned on the light on their boat and carried bravely on. Rosie saw a little dot of light in front of them. What's that, said Jim. It's the dragon's eye, said Rosie. But it wasn't. The little dot grew bigger and bigger. It turned into a hole like the one they had gone into. It was the end of the tunnel. And when they came out of it, at long last, there was no dragon at all. The sun was still shining, and everything was all right. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Jim, take a dog on the old back door. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time, so I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.
Rosie. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, tagging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Jim's drawing book, the, the world to spy, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he writes them down. <laughs> Hello. I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life, and I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One cloudy day. And then I'll draw the canal with my two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Ah, it's a bit chilly this morning. I'll get my life jacket on. That'll keep me warm. I've got my stoves lit on the boat today to keep it warm inside. The only trouble is, I've run out of coal to keep them burning. So I'll have to get some more somewhere, won't I? Now, my book says that just along here, there's an old coal mine you can visit deep underground. Well, that should be good for a story. And I might be able to buy some coal as well. So I'll get the engine started and on my way. going to go all the way along the canal to find where coal comes from. Yes, to put on our fire. Oh, good, cos I'm chilly. <laughs> There's not much left in there, Rosie. No. Nope. Is coal a lump of black rock? It's a lump of black dirty rock. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Look at yourself in the mirror, Noggin. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at my nose. It's all dirty. <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? Coal's not much good for drawing with, Rosie. Noggin, you're not supposed to draw with it. It's for burning. It makes lots of smoke. Huh? Does the smoke go all the way up there, out to the chimney? Yes. Oh. It's a smoky old morning this morning. Well, a smoky town. My boat's making smoke to keep me warm from the fire. And the factory's up there. They're smoking. That's smoking, where all the people are working, making things. And there's a bit of smoke from the engine of my boat as well. <laughs> oh, 
This is the old mine that I was telling you about, where you can go and visit. It's a place where they used to get coal from under the ground. There's a huge bucket here, and they filled it with coal under the ground, and then they pulled it up with this long, long wire that goes right up over a huge wheel. And that's how they got the coal up from under the ground. When it came to the top, they put it in little carriages that run on these rails to bring it out to where they had to sell it. But I'm going to go now and look underground to see how they dug the coal out. What did he say? Where are we going? We're going under the ground. Hello, I'm John. Hello, my name's Andy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know, I'd really love to see the mine underground. Is that possible? Yes, certainly. You're going to need a helmet, John. I hope you've got one big enough for my big I head. Think just about. <laughs> Right. We don't need to bang your head. No, that wouldn't do at all. One for myself, and you will also need a lamp. Uh -huh. So that you can see in the dark. Thank you. Off we go. What did he say? Oh, yeah. Hat, so don't bang me head. Yeah, and, oh. and the light on so I can see in the dark. Which way is it, Rosie? Uh, this way. Oh, this way. Uh, which uh, way? Uh, that uh, way. This way. Oh. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> right, this is where we start going underground, is it? It is. Mind your head, it's a little bit low here, John. Oh, it is, isn't it? My goodness. We're going to go down, down passageways... Yeah. ..until we come to the coal. This is just rock we're in at the moment. Oh, yes, yeah. So, what is coal, really? Coal is a special kind of rock that's very deep under the ground. Ah, that's why you've got to have these deep tunnels to get to it. That's right, and it's a special kind of rock that burns. Yeah, ah, it's magic. Oh, Rosie, we're going down deep, deep, deep into a magic place. Oh, I don't like it, Jim. It's getting dark and it's getting stuffy. <laughs> we have to go down deep, deep, deep till we get to the coal, Rosie. Oh, Jim. <laughs> it's all right, Rosie. I'm here. <laughs> Mind your step, John. I will. Yeah. OK. Oh, goodness. We're really deep underground now, aren't we? We are deep underground now, John. Yeah. We're underneath all those rocks that we saw earlier, mm -hmm. and we've reached the coal. Ah, all around here. All around us. Like a layer in a cake. It is. It's called a seam, John. A seam of coal. And what about these chaps here? These, these are not alive, are they? No, they're models, John. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we have them here because we have people visit the mine, such as yourself, yeah. and we'd like them to see how mining was done many years ago. Yeah, yeah. Under the ground, like a rabbit to a bone. Here we go, digging for the bucky black coal. Hard oh, work, this, isn't it, Rosie? <laughs> they're not working very fast, are they, Rosie? Well, that's because their models noodle pay. Digging for coal in the magic wizard's cave. Digging for coal where strong and brave. Right, get some coal, put it yeah. in your bag. Yeah. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Nowadays, we have machines, but it's still a very, very dangerous job. I can imagine that, yes. Oh, what's this? Huh? This is the hole that goes up to the surface, John. Oh, isn't it? I see it's got a, a chain in it. And it has. A lot of coal. That's right. That chain takes the coal up to the surface. <laughs> oh, Rosie, that must be how they whiz the coal all the way up to the outside again. <laughs> Put it in the tub and whiz it to the top. Send it to the world and sell it in a shop. Phew! I'm glad to be out in the daylight again. I didn't like it underground. How much coal did we get, Rosie? Oops. It's a good thing I had the helmet on, isn't it? It certainly is, John. That was very interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. Really, this. really good visit. Oh, I just thought of something, talking of coal. I need some for the boat. Is there anywhere I could get a, get some coal? There certainly is. As you leave, John, you can pick some up off the bank just outside. Oh, thanks Help very yourself. much. That's lovely. I've got a really good load of coal here for the boat. Keep me warm on winter nights. More coal, please, uh, uh, Mida Rosie. OK. <laughs> Under the ground, like a rabbit, or a mole. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
digging for the mucky black coal. Okay. Put it in the pot and whiz it to the top. Send it to the world and sell it in a shop. <laughs> Forgot. Get the sack onto the boat. There we go. Take the trolley back now to the people who loaned it to me. That's very kind of them. Rosie, he's gone again. <laughs> that means we can play coal mines again. <laughs> We've got lots of coal now, Rosie. Ooh, lots of Fiskog's coal. <laughs> <laughs> Under, Under the, the ground, ground like a rabbit or a mole. Here we go, digging <laughs> for the dead <laughs> black coal. <laughs> Put it in the pot <laughs> and whiz it to the top. Send it to the world and sell it in the shop. Oh, Put it in Fiskog's sack. <laughs> He's coming back again. Oh, Well, I have lots of ideas for my stories now. But first, I'll stoke the stove up, get it really warm. Oh, there's no coal in the hut. Where's it gone to? I'm sure I filled it up. Didn't I make a mess bringing it in? And look at Rosie and Jim. They've got coal dust all over their faces. I don't know. Never mind. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim came to a funny place. A notice said, coal mine. What's that, said Jim. I don't know, Fispot, said Rosie. Let's go and find out. They went into a tunnel under the ground. I feel like a rabbit, said Jim. Have I got furry ears? No, noggin, said Rosie. But you have a mucky face. <laughs> there was a wizard under the ground. He gave them a piece of magic stone. It's cold and mucky, said Rosie. And black, said Jim. It'll keep you warm on a frosty night, said the wizard. Never, said Jim. But they took it anyway. Then it was time to go home for tea. And when the black stone was safely in the stove, little fire demons came and danced on it, and it made the boat lovely and warm. That wizard was right, said Rosie. Magic, said Jim. Rosie! Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, Tanky Ben Dumb on the old red dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, Tanky Bell Long on the old rag doll. 
Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Jim's drawing book, the world to spy, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim, we play our games. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a fine day, so I'll begin with that. One fine day. And then I'll draw the river with two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So, I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now, I'll be on my way. Right, I'll get my life jacket on. Today, I'm going to find something really interesting to put into a story, because my book says that if I go along here a little way, I'll find a windmill, and that's really unusual. So I'll get the engine started, and on my way. Rosie. Where are we going to, Jim? Now, at this windmill, I can buy some flour to make some bread. Scog said he's going to take us to a bread place. Mm. That's good, isn't it, Rosie? Because we use up lots of Scog's bread. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. It makes me feel really hungry. Do you know, I don't know where all the bread goes to on this boat. There wasn't even enough to make me a sandwich this morning. Quack, quack, little duck, come for your bread. Double in the water, now you're fed. <laughs> hmm. I can just see the windmill over there. That's the place where I can get some flour to make some bread. It'll be a good walk. Oh, a field full of wheat. That's what they make flour from. It's just about ripe. And I don't think the farmer will mind if I just take one piece, just to have a close look. And I'm going to rub it in my hands and have a good look. I could make bread with this, if I could turn it into flour. I'll get on my way to the windmill now. What a noggin. This doesn't look like bread, Rosie. No, bread comes from shops. Mm. <gasps> Quick, let's follow Fiskog. Good morning. Good morning. How do you do? Hello. My name's John. I'm Max. I'm the miller here. Oh, you're the miller? Yes. Just the man I want to see. I've been collecting some sample of... Uh, wheat as I came along through the field. Yeah, so that's a nice sample. A little bit of chaff in there, but we can soon winnow that away with the wind. So, what do these sails do? Well, they catch the wind, and that drives round the sails, which turns the machinery within the mill. Oh, I see. These sails go round, and wheels go round inside. They do. And change wheat into flour. Into fine wholemeal flour. I'd love to see that. Well, why don't you come and have a look inside? Thank you very much. What did he say, Jim? 
I think he said he'd turn this wheat stuff into flour. Oh, what? Inside the windmill? Hmm. <gasps> huh? Jim, what makes it go round? He said it was the wind that blows it round. <laughs> 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 The old windmill is turning round, round and round, round and round. The old windmill is turning round, blowing in the wind. <laughs> blowing it round. <laughs> the old windmill. Well done. The wheat's now coming down the spout mm -hmm. and into the hopper. Oh, yes. And where does it go to next? Well, from then on, it feeds into the millstones. Mm -hmm. And rather like these stones, yeah. the wheat is cut up between the top stone and the bottom stone, mm -hmm. and that turns it into fine wholemeal flour. Oh, I see. If we go downstairs, we can see it coming into the mill. I'd love to see that. And here we've got a nice sack of wheat, just like the wheat that I found in the field. Yes, that's a good local wheat, which has been harvested, taken into the barn, mm -hmm. given a good walloping, then into the granary to dry, and now it's in a cracking good condition, it's ready for the mill. And it's inside the mill, ready to go upstairs, I believe, isn't yes, it? Yes, right? this is where we use the power of the wind again. By putting the sack into the miller's grip, we can take it up through the floors. Mm -hmm. Oh, goody! Lots more stuff! <laughs> Rosie, <laughs> I think... This stuff is the same stuff we found in the field. It's all, it's all nice and nibbly nubbly. Oh, yeah. Mm. Hey, Jim, look down there a minute. Look down there, look. Oh. Look. Go oh. 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 Rosie, you dug in. <laughs> it's all nibbly nubbly down by oh, that now. Tickly. That won't slip. And then we pull the rope, and away it goes. Where are you now, Max? I'm up on the gallery, John, at the top of the mill. Uh-huh. And what are you up to? Well, the sack of wheat's come up and I'm going to tip it in the bin. Yes. And then it'll feed down through the millstones. And I'll see it coming down. You will indeed. Right, oh. Footsteps across there, and they can't be ours because they're far too small. Yes, and they're far too large for mice. And they've made a terrible mess. They have, haven't they? Still, we'll soon clear that up. Gonna buy some flour before I go. Yes, I'll be only too pleased to Thank serve you. you with some. Well, there you are, John. I hope that will make some lovely bread. Shall we, Jim? Goodness me. What's going on? Snowing flour, isn't it? Can't be those mice. Oh, goodness me. Is it the wind in the top of the bell or something? Something up there. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for a lovely look round. Right, well, it's a pleasure. You've been thank very you. welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Jim, this is how Fizzcock makes bread, you know. Mm. He's been busy, hasn't he, Rosie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Mixed the flour, mix the flour, bake a rosy. Knead the dough, knead the dough, bake a dim. Pat it and shape it and squatchy, squidgy. And pop in the oven for Ducky and me. Mix the flour, mix the flour, bake a rosy. Knead the dough, knead the dough, bake a dim. Pat it and shape it all squidgy, squidgy. Right, I'll get my bread in the oven now. Let's have a look at it. Oh, look at that one. It looks like a duck, doesn't it? It's a funny shape. Anyway, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, and a duck. That makes five. Careful with the hot oven. And it goes. Well, that'll take about half an hour to bake. I know what I'll do whilst it's baking. I'll go and get some honey to eat with it. That'll be lovely. Pat a cake, Rosie. Yeah! <laughs> pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me some bread as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with D. And pop in the oven for Ducky and me. <laughs> this dog's coming. We've pat a cake too long. Come on, Jim. <laughs> Mmm, I've got a lovely jar of honey. Hot brown bread and honey, that's what I'm looking forward to. Mmm, lovely. Now then, hey, only three. I'm sure I had four rolls. One, two, three and a duck. Hmm, strange. <laughs> Give it a honey. Mmm, delicious. That's given me a really good idea for a story. So I'll get on with it. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One fine day. Rosie and Jim were travelling along on the old rag doll when they saw a big wizzy thing far across the fields. There's a giant waving to us, said Rosie. Let's go and see, said Jim. It wasn't a giant. It was a windmill with great sails whizzing round and round. There was a man in it. The man in the wind, said Rosie. The man in the wind gave them a bag of flour. Mix it with water, he said, and make anything you like. They made a little house with chairs and tables. The house began to grow until it was so big that Rosie and Jim could go into the house and sit at the table. Let's have a party, said Jim. Duck came and brought his friends. There was a cow, a sheep, a dog and a cat. They were all hungry. What shall we eat, said Jim. Noggin, said Rosie. There's nothing in the cupboard. The cow ate the walls, the sheep ate the chairs, the cat ate the chimney. It's all bread, Noggins, said Rosie. Soon there was only a pile of crumbs for the little birds that flew down. That's the end of our magic house, Fizzpot, said Rosie. Rosie and Jim went home to their boat. That was made of steel. No one could eat that. Rosie! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.
Gypsy. <laughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, tucking along on the old rag dog. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's back. Tim's drawing book, the world to spy, the window frame, and. Rosie and Tim, we play our games. <coughs> Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Tim, Rosie and Tim, and John, he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books. And they're books for children, just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with two blue pens, like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Get my life jacket. I'm going to have a look for some shops today. See if I can get something nice for my dinner. So I'll get started. Rosie? Where are we going to, Jim? If I go along here towards Tewkesbury, I'm sure I'll find lots of shops. He says we're going shopping. What for? Food. <gasps> oh, good. I'm hungry. <laughs> you know, I don't understand it. The rate the food disappears on my boat. You'd think I had a family of children with me, and there's only me. I don't know where it all goes to. Quack, quack, quack. No. Yeah. Oh, God, Rosie. Oh. Naughty old fish dog. Yeah. He's got no more food, and I'm hungry. Jim! Look at those people eating all that yummy food. Oh. Fish dog never buys yummy food like that, Rosie. No. Oh. Jim? What's your favourite food? Ooh. Is it donuts? No. Is it bananas? No. Is it sausages? Mm. <laughs> sausages. <laughs> That's my favourite food. Yeah. And fish dog never buys yummy food like sausages. No. no. <gasps> Jim, look at those people eating all that yummy food. Oh. Rosie? Yeah? What's your favourite food? Oh, um... Is it... Cake? No. Is it... Pork pie? Yeah. No! <laughs> Is it... Yogurt! Yogurt! Chocolate <laughs> yogurt, my favourite. But, Jim... This god never buys yummy food like toffee yogurts, does he? Does he? Yeah. When fish dog goes shopping, mm -hmm. he always makes a shopping list. A shopping list. Let's yeah. make our own shopping yeah. list. <laughs> Half a pound of sausages, please. And a toffee yogurt. 
That's the way the money goes. Puppy dip his pocket. <laughs> 50 p. Ah, oh, there are some shops coming up, so I'll moor along here and write my list. Shopping list now. Um, what do I need? Let's see. What do I like for my lunch? Um, six rolls, that's a good start, isn't it? Six rolls, uh, two cartons of milk. Need something to drink this weather. Uh, six tomatoes. <laughs> and, and lots of and toffee yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> and um, two packets of cheese, I think. That's it. I can make a nice meal with that. I'll get off to the shops now and get the shopping done. Oh, 50p. I wonder where that's come from. It'll come in handy anyway. I'll get the boat closed. And off I go. Good afternoon. Isn't Good afternoon. it hot? It is, isn't it? I bet it's hot working in the shop today. It is. Um, I wonder if you'd do me a favour. I've got a list, but I've got to dash up the road for something else. Can I leave it with you and come back for the, for the order? Yeah, certainly. Lovely. Thanks okay. very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, Yabby, yabby, yabby sausages. And there's my toffee yoghurt. Oh, Rosie is going to be cross. Yeah, he's going to be very cross. He doesn't eat sausages or anything with meat in it. No, because he's one of those veggie wedgie thingies. Mm, veggie, vegetarian. Yeah. That's what he is. Mm. And he doesn't eat toffee yogurts either. Nothing he eats. Rosie, yeah? we could get him a present. That'll cheer him up. Yeah. Come on. <gasps> he likes flowers, Rosie. Yeah, <laughs> and there's some blue ones and there's some red ones. <laughs> Have you got 50 pence in your bag? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> £2.22. It's another 50p, please. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh. oh um, well, I've got the 50 pence. Thank you very much. Right? Yes, thank Good. you. Thank you very much for being so helpful. That's all right. I'll be off back to my boat now. Right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hello there. It's yeah. a nice day for a picnic, isn't it? Yes, it's absolutely beautiful. You're having a lovely lovely picnic, aren't you? We are. Yes. Ooh, why don't I have a picnic? Just a place here. Now then, let's see what I've got. Rolls. They'll be nice. Milk. Yes, I'm quite thirsty today. There's cheese. Tomatoes. What's this? Toffee flavoured low fat yogurt? I don't like toffee yogurt. How did that get into my shopping? Sausages? I don't eat sausages. What am I going to do with those? They're no good for my picnic. Oh, people across there are having a barbecue. I wonder if they like sausages. I'll go and ask them. They might like the yoghurt as well. Sausages and yoghurt pops, all our favourite yummies. Lay the table, make it nice, then we'll fill our tummies. <laughs> but 
uh, could you manage them? Because I don't think sausages. What? Could you manage them with your um, barbecue? Oh, I'm sure we could. <laughs> Those are my sausages. I've got a yogurt as well. Would anybody like a, a toffee yogurt? Yeah. What about my yogurt? <laughs> right on. Bye bye. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, that's nice. Somebody's arranged my picnic for me. Got knife and fork and a cup. Late. Lovely. I might as well start. I wonder who's doing that own flowers. Beautiful. I'll start then and enjoy my picnic. She's seen us, Jim. A sausage, please. <laughs> and the yogurt, please. Ah. Lovely. Lovely, lovely sausage, Rosie. <laughs> and yummy <laughs> yogurt, Jim. <laughs> He didn't seem too cross, did he? No. <laughs> Mustn't forget anything. Get the bread away. Quack, 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 quack. Ooh, duckies, quackies, quacky song. Fizzgog's going, we've, we've munched too long. long. Come on. Thanks, duck. <laughs> Lovely duck. And very carefully with the flowers. And time to get back to the boat now. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Oh, look at he's coming. I have lots of ideas now for my... Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim were chugging along on the old rag doll when they stopped to do some fishing. Got one! Jim had caught a little silvery fish. Hello, said the fish. I'm a magic fish. Would you like a wish? A packet of sausages, please, said Jim. Let me go, and you can have a packet of the best sausages, said the fish. Jim let the fish go. It swam quickly away. You noggin, said Rosie. It'll never come back, and we'll get no supper. But there on the table was a packet of sausages. But the sausages grew little legs, jumped off the table and ran for their lives. Quick, shouted Rosie, after them. Rosie and Jim chased the sausages over a hill, round a corner and along a street, but they could not catch them. Stop, said Rosie. They're too fast for us. Look, said Jim. They were outside a big shop. They went into the shop and bought sausages and toffee yogurts. Then they went home and had such a feast. They never saw the magic fish again, or the sausages with legs. I don't know where they ran to. Rosie! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, tugging along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, talking along on the old rag doll. 
Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag. Jim's drawing book, the world of spy, the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and Johnny writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat earlier on, but that's not my real work. My real work is writing books, and they're books for children just like you. I'm making a new one just now. It's all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for the stories about them from the things I see as I travel on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And now I'll draw the river with my two blue pens. Like this. And my boat is just here. So I'll put this picture of it on the book to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Ooh, before I do that, I think I'll make a cup of coffee. Ouch! Ooh, that's hot. Hot! <gasps> Must be careful. This is the safe way to do it. I'm not going to go very far today because I've heard about a very special old boat just along here and it runs on steam. I want to see it. But before I go, I'm going to give my boat a polish. I want it to look its very best. So, here we go. Oh, that's nice. I can see my face in it now. We're not moving, Rosie. That duck? He says fish dogs polishing the boat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, we've to keep away from that. Keep away from what, Rosie? That over there. There's <gasps> something in that kettle pushing the lid up, trying to escape. Oh, Rosie. Oh, Rosie. It sounds all angry. Oh, Rosie, I hope it doesn't get out. Oh, it's getting all hot and sweaty in here, Rosie. Yeah. It won't hurt us if we don't go near it. Don't go near it? No, stay away. Oh, right. Oh, Rosie. I'll just give the window a polish. Oh, goodness me, it's all steamed up. I know what it is. I've left the kettle on. I'd better go and take it off. Oh. Come on, fish dog. <coughs> oh, my goodness me, what a mess. Wasn't I stupid to leave the kettle on? I'll just turn it off and leave it to cool. That's the best thing. Oh, silly noggin. He left that water boiling. <gasps> what a noggin, steaming us all up like that. Mm, noggin. Oh, steamy, steamy. It's a good thing I took that kettle off. I got my life jacket on now. You know, I'm glad the rag doll isn't an old boat and she's got a new engine. I start it like this with the switch. Oh, 
We are moving now, Rosie. Phew! At last. We can go and see the steamboat now, Jim. Steamboat. Bless me. There's an old steam engine. Oh, Jim. What is that thing? <gasps> it's stopping. <laughs> Rosie, it's a great big kettle with all steam puffing out of it. <laughs> yeah. You don't see many old steam trains like that nowadays. When I was a lad, nearly all trains were like that. It's not a travelling kettle puzzle head. It's a steam train. Yeah, I, I know it's a steam train, Rosie. <laughs> Ch Ooh. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Ah, there it is, a steamboat, an old-fashioned boat run by a steam engine. I expect it takes them a long time to get it going, because they have to get steam up first. Not like my boat, which can start straight away when I switch it on. Stuck. How am I going to get off here? Oh, what a nugget! Not looking where he's going. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. You want any help? Well, thank you very much. I'd appreciate some. I'm afraid I'm stuck. He certainly does, Rosie. <laughs> Lots of help. Yeah, he's got all ragdoll stuck in the gooey, slimy mud. <laughs> oh, ragdoll. Yeah. <laughs> Pull ahead. Jim, look at that. <laughs> Good old steamboat. <laughs> he's mm. pulling ragdoll off. <laughs> yeah. Hooray! Hooray! Yeah. It's a good job Puffin is a very strong boat. Yeah, he's got a very strong steam engine, Rosie. Yeah, and he goes puff, puff, puff. <laughs> puff, puff, puff. Hooray for Puffin! Thank you, Puffin! <laughs> Here we go. Rangdoll's getting free. Thanks to the help of the good steamboat. Thanks very much. Not at all. We're really free now. Good. And the only thing is, I haven't seen your boat properly. Well, why don't you join my friend and I with his steamboat for a cup of tea? Oh, that would be marvellous. And you can have a look then. Hello. Nice oh, to meet you. Come nice to meet you. Steamboat. Oh, great. Would you like to come on board? I'd we'll love to. Just make a cup of tea. Thank you very much. That's lovely. Ooh, Fizzgog's getting on the other steamboat. Steamboat. <laughs> More steam, Jim. Hmm. More steam from the special steamboat kettle. <laughs> so it makes tea as well as runs the boat. That's right. And there's one for you. Thank you very much. That's a great treat. Lovely. Would you like to go for a trip after you've had your tea? Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to see it in action. They're going for a ride, Rosie. Hmm. Quick. <laughs> Well, it's like a, a big kettle, really, isn't it? Yes, that's right. It's like you have a tone, right? except that the steam that comes out the spout of your kettle is the steam that goes in to drive the engine. That's oh, the I only see. difference. Yes. So the steam's going through all these pipes into the engine, is that right? That's right, yes. Makes a lovely chuffa chuff sound, doesn't it? Yes, I like it. Yeah. Quite. It sounds like a, like a train, a small train going along. Oh, no! I'm all 
got stuck on the mud. Now what am I going to do? Choo, 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 choo. I will save you. Hooray! <laughs> Come on, Puffin. Pull. Puffin. Pull. 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 Puffin. Pull. Pull. <laughs> this is the way the steamboat goes. Choo, choo, choo. No, no, Rosie, choo. Rosie, Rosie, stop. It didn't go like that. It went like this. This is the way the steamboat went. Chuffity chuff, no, chuffity chuff. No, it didn't, Jim. It went like this. This is the way the steamboat went. Chuff, 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 chuff. No, 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 Rosie, stop. It went like this, actually. I'll show you. Watch. Uh, this is the way the steamboat went. Puff, puff. This no, is the way the steamboat Shh, it didn't. It went like, um, well, it went like this. Come on. Ready, like steady, go! <laughs> oh, Rosie Posey, <laughs> you be nogging. You puff, chuffity chuff, chuffity chuff, chuff, chuff. Hey, puff, 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 He's cracking his cracky sog. This god's coming. We've puffed too long. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Hello, Duck. What have you been doing? Oh, well, it's useful anyway. Give it a final polish. That's lovely. Oh, look at that. He's coming. I have lots of ideas now for my Rosie and Jim stories. And now I'm going to write in my book the story all about Rosie and Jim and what they would have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim couldn't see out of the windows of the old rag doll. They were all steamed up. It must be that kettle, said Rosie. When they wiped them clean, they saw something very strange. There was a wuffle and a puffle and a cloud of smoke and a rumble, dumble, chuff, a puff, puff. What is it, said Rosie? A house on fire, said Jim. He's running away, said Rosie. A house on fire running away, said Jim. Houses don't run away, said Rosie. And so they don't. Then it's a witch's kettle, said Jim, and she's boiling people for her dinner. No, she's not nogging, said Rosie. They're having a good time and they're going for their holidays. You can see them waving and laughing. It's a train, said Rosie. A steam train, said Jim, laughing. We have a steamer of our own, said Rosie, but it doesn't run away. Fizzgog's put it on, so we can have a cup of tea, said Jim. Just what I need, said Rosie. Rosie! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, talking along on the old rag dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> video Playbox 1 and Playbox 2. The best of the highly acclaimed ITV series comes to life with an entertaining mix of education and information served up by the very lovable cat and dog. Oh, oh hello, hello. Oh, don't go away. Um, cat, cat, someone's come to play. Oh, hello. I'll get my surprise. Ew. Oh, oh, we can play now. I'll just go and help Cat. Don't go away. Oh, woof. Mm. 
Yes, I'm ready, Cat. Yes, her eye. And her head. And her beak. Mm. And her back. And her tail. And her body. Oh! Hmm. It's a bird! It's a bird! <laughs> P-L-A-Y-B-O-X Jim! Rosie! <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim those rascally rag dolls, Rosie and Jim, make their debut on video. Four great adventures aboard the good ship Ragdoll, navigating the picturesque canals of England, meeting new friends and learning about their lives. Rosie and Jim, out now on video. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim, Rosie, Rosie and, and Jim, Jim and Playbox 1 and 2, out now on video. <laughs> <laughs>